Hey Tom, I'm looking at these WK gauges and I'm noticing that some have four leads and some have only two leads. Do you mean two leads per tab? Okay. Yeah. That is because of the construction. A planar type WK series of gauge, like this 250R uh, BG, come with three quarter inch beryllium copper leads and there's a pair of them. That's because these materials, typically the WK series gauge, are used with elevated temperature curing adhesive systems and these wires can get brittle and they can break. So we give you a spare just in case you have the first wire get damaged while you're trying to solder it to your bondable terminal, you have a spare to go ahead. The other way you can receive a WK gauge would be with the option W. The option W is a printed circuit terminal pre-attached. However, you sacrifice something for that convenience. That you give away about 50% of the fatigue life of the gauge, but the convenient thing is that you can directly attach the instrument lead wire straight to the gauge. And these are all um, planar series that we have a rectangular rosette. Again, in a planar form, that you can have two leads per tab, and that also gives you that spare when there's uh, high temperature adhesives involved. This is that very same uh, 250RD with the option W. Again, printed circuit terminals making it convenient to install the lead wire but reduces your fatigue life. However, when you go to a stacked construction like the 250WR, now this construction limits the thickness that we can have on those lead wires and therefore we only put one per tab. So if you're using a stacked rosette, either T or three element, you're going to WK series is going to have a single lead per tab. And again, the same thing occurs with the stacked rosette, the option W will make it more convenient, but you lose fatigue life. So there's your answer. If it's a planar gauge and standard WA construction, then it'll have a pair of leads per tab. If it's a stacked rosette, T or otherwise, then you're going to have two lead wires per gauge, or excuse me, a single lead per gauge. Does that answer your question? It does. Thank you.